In this video, we carry on travelling along the Dingle Peninsula with a brief stop at Dingle Town. We pull up at a blustery stop of where scenes were shot for a classic film. We witness a strange dance that looked really good fun and then another stunning park up that reveals a great beach that we fall in love with. So if you enjoy our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe and like button. It's free and you'd be helping the channel grow. Welcome to Getaway Geese. We are Stu and Jane and with Harry, our Ford Custom Auto Camper, we share our adventures. So join us in this Our Rough Guide series to campervanning in Ireland. So we've left Bean Bane Beach that looks across the entrance to Dingle Bay. We had a good sleep. It was very windy. Yeah, it, it died good. down eventually. It was good watching the waves, the especially waves last great. night. I mean, they were just... Woke up to a high tide this morning. It's really cut well, relatively calm compared to last night. So today we are off to Dingle. Dingle. going to go to the tip while we're close to a place. Might as well just get used to actually getting rid of the rubbish. Now, thankfully, the waste facility is literally a mile away. So firstly, we pay for one bag of rubbish, which is destined for the general waste, and then a few cans and jars for the recycling before getting back on the road to Dingle Town. So in the bay, apparently, there's uh, a, a local um, celebrity animal, a fun fungi or fungi dolphin, fungi, 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 <laughs> fungi, fungi, I don't know. But where were we when we, we saw a resident seal, didn't we? Like we yeah. saw that seal and then we, we kept driving past and then a few days later we drove past and he was in exactly the same space as he was when we'd left him. Unfortunately, the morning is starting off cold, wet and windy as we enter the town. We find a park up on the edge of the town and have a quick look around. Dingle seems to be a great place to visit, and even more so on a warmer day, which unfortunately it is not today. The multicolour houses add life to the town, and as you can see, you could spend a lot of time getting lost in the variety of shops and eateries that they have here. some really quirky shops and as it's Halloween someone has gone to a lot of effort and Desert is apparently an institute of Irish spirituality and culture which also has a visitor centre. Fungi the Dolphin can be seen referenced throughout the town with images, sculptures and businesses named after him. Dick Max is probably Dingle's most famous bar come shop and it even has its own Hollywood-style pavement of its most famous visitors that have had the odd tipple here. The harbour has a commercial fishing net fleet as well as a marina for private vessels. Well, it's time for us to move on and as we leave, the rain abates and the sun comes out, which is extremely welcome, but there's still a really strong fresh wind. So we head along the coastal road towards Slee Point and Dunmore Head. The road is narrow at times, framed between the natural rock and a wall. And we can see that in high season with tourist buses, it may be a slower drive and a bit challenging in places. And this is why we love traveling at this time of year. deeper we go into the peninsula, 
the more dramatic the landscape becomes. We pass Slea Head, the wind is whipping up the white rollers coming in off the Atlantic, and wild it certainly is. at Dunmore Head we initially try to get close to the beach but we soon abandon the idea with the fear that we may also get stuck so we park at the top. Well Groot certainly seems happy to be sheltered from the elements inside Harry. We really take our hats off to these cyclists and we're not even sure how they remained upright with this wind. Well, it's finally got to be done. So we brave the elements and we make our way to the beach. And I find a useful seat to stare out to sea. Now we did think about stopping the night here, but it's taking the full force of the wind and Harry at times was being buffed quite a lot. So for now, it's just a walk around the area. There's been several films filmed here, including Star Wars The Last Jedi and the great classic called Ryan's Daughter, with Robert Mitchum, Trevor Howard and the great John Mills. And some of the beach scenes were actually shot here. And you can see why this has been a location for the film, as it surely is the wild part of the Wild Atlantic Way. The waves are powerful, and at times the roaring sound is deafening. And this is the commemoration stone for the Ryan Daughters film. Returning to Harry, we're parked next to a large group of travelling students from Europe. And they seem to be doing some sort of ritual dance to keep the team spirit up. And we sort of wanted to join in as it looked really good fun. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but it looks like a party. <laughs> Some strange dance moves. Now from it's a German school trip. They're all the boys are from Germany, sir. So. Potato. <laughs> Smoky Baker. Being highly recommended. Very controversial. Causes lots of arguments. I would say controversial statement for some, better than walkers. Oh, there you go. We were just interested more. You put a um a post on the Facebook group, didn't you? Yeah. Um, that we um, just ready salted Chris are nowhere to be found. I mean, you can get walkers occasionally, but... You can't get the local, but they don't seem no, to... No, like it's cheese just... Cheese and onion and salt vinegar. Oh, think. cheese and onion is a big, yeah. big thing here. Very good. Definitely give them a try. I'm going to try the uh, cheese and onion there. Oh, God, are you now? OK. See me Chris disappear. Yeah, we what? OK. Oh, God, a bit fussy, aren't you? Mm, I'm more onion, you. I like them. We get my vote. Well, it's time for us to move on around the coast a little and find some shelter from the wind for the night. there. 
Okay, that looks good. It looks, that looks good. It looks it? on a slant. Yeah. And we stumbled across this beach, which is called Claha Strand Beach, literally 10 minutes away. And as we sat in the car park, the heavens opened yeah. for an hour. And then, like many of the days that we've had in Ireland, the clouds parted and this magnificent beach appeared. It was a dead spot for a phone signal, although somehow Stu seemed to find a place. Wow, this sand's fantastic! With seas crashing, other people, as we were, were making the most of the break in the weather to get out. And once again, the rock formation is a totally different colour to other beaches. And we spot this large seal that was a little elusive, as no sooner had he appeared, he also disappeared. So Friday night is curry night. So we've got some chicken thighs in there that's been fried up with onions, peppers, uh, two types of peppers. And then I've just added a simple Uncle Ben's medium curry sauce. We've got a few broccoli left over, so we'll let them steam. So just use one of those quick packet rice. It's not worth, in my opinion, the gas and boiling up a normal rice. Two minutes, two to three minutes probably in there. That's probably all it needs. So that's a Friday night curry. And so just let the rice on top, but don't touch it, don't mix it. And then we just purely serve it up like that. Well, we'll leave it here for this episode. Please hit that subscribe and like button. It's free, but it really helps the channel. So thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, then help us grow the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. And we'll hopefully see you in the next episode of Our Travels in Harry.